Baruch Hashem, today is day number 212 of our daily study of Rambam Sefer Mitzvahs, and in the three chapters today of Mishnah Teter, we are continuing Hilchas Tumas Tzaras, chapters 14, 15, and 16, and we have two mitzvahs today. All right, so until this point, we've been speaking about a mitzvira, and I used that term a couple of times. And I mentioned that a Mitzayda is the name of a person who has Tzaras. And I mentioned that it's a condition which causes discoloration of the skin. That is not the entire complete story because there are other forms of Tzaras that do not occur on human skin. They are discolorations, but it's not something that happens to a person and happens on other surfaces. And that's what our two mitzvahs are today. Positive commandment 102 is the mitzvah containing all the laws of tzaras on garments, on clothing. All of the rules regarding the ritual impurity that is imparted by garments which have these tzaras discolorations. Uh, All of the laws that explain under what circumstances the garments become impure and how they then pass on impurity to other objects or to people Um, and also the process of purification okay positive commandment 103 similarly it is a mitzvah containing many laws about tzaras that occurs on surfaces, but not on a person, um, on houses. Positive Commandment 103 is about tzaras on houses. So all the laws regarding under what circumstances does the house become declared impure, the quarantine that has to happen in certain cases, um, the deconstruction or demolition of part of the walls that have to happen in certain cases, or the complete demolition of the wall, Um, and then also the process of purification, as well as the manner in which the impurity is transmitted to other objects or to, to people while the house is still in its state of defilement. Okay, those are our two mitzvahs today, and we'll see you for more, God willing, tomorrow.